All right, guys, welcome back, 825 on a Tuesday. You know, we all remember our grandparents who retired from their jobs with a gold watch after 25, 35, 40 years of service. Well, my friend, those times have changed. In fact, the average American is going to have 10 to 14 different jobs by the time they reach 34 years old. Another interesting number for you, only 2% of adults say that they're working in the field they thought they were going to when they're all star-eyed 18-year-olds. Of course, you get over 40. Think about this now. 80% of us think about making a change, but only 6% actually have the guts to do it. Crazy. Lori Cook from the, uh, the RCPL Job Center. Let me ask you this. Is it smart at 40 to actually take the plunge, you know, plug your nose and dive in the pool? Absolutely. I, as someone who just did it, <laughs> All right. who just turned 40 and who just had a career change, it's, it's absolutely worth it. And I tell you this, when you're doing a career change at this age in your life, mm -hmm you get it a lot more, you appreciate it a lot more, and you do a lot more of the work that you need to do to do it. So yeah, if you're thinking about a career change, go for it. Uh, but just have a plan. It may be a three-year process, it may be right. a few months, you don't know how long it's going to take you, but plan it out um, and, and have an action plan for how you're going to get there. Those numbers are interesting that, that so many people aren't doing what they thought they were going to do. That The amount of jobs you have, 10 to 14 jobs by the time you're 34, now, is that career changes or is that just jobs? Right. The, the Bureau of Labor Statistics does not keep um, statistics on career changes because it's hard to determine what is a so career it's change. So job changes. I'm a librarian okay. and now I'm doing jobs, but is that a career change or just a job change? And that's important to realize, too. Mm -hmm. Do you hate your job? or do you hate your career? And you really need to examine those things. It may be that you just need another place within the same company, mm -hmm. within the same type of industry, and that you don't really need to go outside of it. But right. if you're considering it, we encourage you to come to the Job Center because we have these little specialized workstations where you can just get all these all kinds of information right. from what companies are moving and expanding in South Carolina to how do I find financial aid and, and scholarships if I do want to go back to school, you even as an adult. You can go back to school at 40 years old to get Absolutely. In fact, there's sure. a lot of scholarships just for that age group. 40 is the new 30, kids. 40 exactly is the new 30. Exactly right. Uh, and we also have a, a, a station where you can look at what kind of training opportunities are available mm -hmm. in Columbia or in the area from weeks long to two-year degrees to four-year degrees, certificates, that kind of thing. So you can come to the Job Center without even getting on a computer, mm -hmm. sit down and learn a lot. And we also have a workstation for our job seekers who are over 55. Wow. Because what we're finding is a lot of those, a lot of that age group is also coming back to the workforce. What, uh, what are some considerations someone does, and I guess it's a good one, is, you know, do you hate your job, your, you know, the hate your boss you work for, but you like the industry, or are you just tired of being an accountant and don't want to see another number? What are some things that, you know, maybe some considerations your head when you go home late at night. Right. You do really need to examine what are your motivations. Are you being motivated because somebody told you that you should be making more money? Mm -hmm. Or a lot of people are doing a job for the money and they're miserable because they really want to just be doing something that will help people. Right. So you have to do a lot of exploration and we can even help you at the job center with that and doing some career assessments and give you some time to really reflect on it. And then after you've done that, you need to start thinking about, okay, so what careers are out there for me? Mm -hmm. uh, I did a career assessment and I realized that being a minister and being a librarian are in the same field. So there's a lot of different okay. things with the same work interests. You have a lot of different options. So get in there and figure it out. Research, research, research. Awesome. Lori Cook, Richland County Public Library Job Center. Free services for job seekers. Free training. You don't even need to be a member and have a little library card because I don't either. <laughs> there you go. Good stuff. We'll get this stuff posted for you at MidlandsConnect.com slash GDC. All right, guys. Well, there's a shakeup at J.P. Morgan Chase. A billion-dollar mistake leading to some... Well, major changes will explain in your consumer watch coming up next. It's 828.